resellers on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Today we're coming at you with a thread up rescue men's unboxing. Rescue box. We are one of the few people I see on YouTube that likes to sell menswear. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. You do. I do. He does. <laughs> so we are not shopping at thrift stores right now, so this is a really great way for us to get inventory. Right. In the men's realm. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of sourcing. Uh, online so we've been buying stuff on poshmark and uh thread up these rescue boxes and bng and bng but yeah. they don't do men's so we're excited we have two of these unboxing stay tuned for the next one yes. that's coming uh every time they come up we order them yeah so this is rescue men's rescue box number two and three that we've got uh yeah. the first one we got what maybe a month and a half two months ago something like that yeah okay and it was good it was really good we sold a lot of did we do a video on that one? We did. We did. It's right, right there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, right. so let's get with the details. This was 10 pounds for $50. Free shipping. 10 pounds. That's cool that it's by weight, so you have a... Yeah, but you know, men's stuff's kind of heavy. It can be, yeah. Yeah, so, so I don't know what we got. It's, it's... And these are like little rectangular boxes that I've never seen from ThreadUp before. So we're excited. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I feel shoes. Shoes? Yeah. We love shoes. Cool. Check out those. Nice. Are these the Sam Smiths? Adidas. Um, I think we have these in our garage. These are Adidas skateboarding. Not, no. Who's that on there? Stan Smith. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bang. White with the green. They're in great condition. They are. I mean, they've been... There's like a little bit of like gum or something on the sole, but that's easy to clean up, and those are in really good shape. Great. All right. What size? What size? Um, yeah, 10. Perfect. Yeah, those are really nice. Uh-oh, I see a blazer or something. What is this, a jacket? If you're oh. new to our channel, Dan loves selling menswear, blazers, jackets, anything that's... Yeah, like I... It, oh, that's nice. I found out that that's... That's, there's lots of good money in blazers and stuff like that because of how, like, the thing that I learned from reselling um, sport coats and blazers is how expensive they are retail. Like, even, like, a regular normal brand, like a Calvin Klein or something, a sport coat is going to run you at least five, six hundred bucks. And then, you know, you start talking about the nicer Italian ones and you're talking in the realm of twelve hundred dollars and up, so... We sell a lot of them, yeah. even on Poshmark. What is okay, this? Okay, this is Kenneth Cole Reaction. Love. Large. It's like a... Utility jacket. Utility jacket, Here, yeah. show the people. Show it's the people. Very cool. Yeah. These are really popular. A couple of years ago, J. Crew had one out. It has a zipper and buttons. That's yep. pretty sweet. It's got some patch pockets at the top. Mm -hmm. It's in good condition, I'd say. It is. Oh, here, in case you've never... Oh, and it's got... The sleeves have these working... Uh, that's great cuffs. so if you didn't know some blazers and sport coats have this it's not a lot but some of them do and this is called surgeon cuffs if you didn't know learning also thread up doesn't take men's items so anytime someone sends a men's item and doesn't request it back it goes into these boxes that's why we love them because normally it's pretty good stuff right that people are trying to get money for i think that's our theory right well you have a theory about how this men's stuff ends up with thread up so <laughs> I have lots of theories. You do. We got a lot of stuff in here. A lot. Yeah. Oh, apartment nine. I see. Mm. Yeah, but you know. Mm. What is this? I think this is Giordano, size large. Never heard of this. But this is a cool, like. Look at the elbows. Elbow patches Look, in you green. Guys. That's, That's pretty cool. sweet. Cool. We'll have to comp this. It has some wash wear. You know, it's not bright black. Right. But it's okay. Yeah, and I mean, the way that this tag is stitched on here makes me think it could potentially be nice. Mm -hmm. right? Yep. This is something you taught me. Uh, see how the tag is just barely stitched on there with two little Cat. tacks? Yep. That's usually an indicator of a nicer brand or designer. Okay. 
Not always, but usually. Yeah, I agree with this. Okay. What is it? Composition New York. Oh my gosh, it's so 80s. 100% silk. This is from the Cosby show. Size small. Don't yeah. lie. This is oh, so this cool. Is totally like. Cosby. You know, this yeah. feels women's. It feels like women's. It's, I mean, it's silk and it's very thin, so I'm not, I'm not sure. It's got this lovely to... woven, like, checkerboard pattern. Yeah. It's a really nice piece. Yeah. I don't know that it's modern, but it's. Definitely not in modern. In the vintage <laughs> land. I bet this was expensive. Yeah, I think so. Cool. All right, so yeah, here's the apartment nine, that's... slim fit dress shirt in a 17 and a half neck. That's a Kohl's house brand. Yeah, I mean, that's just a, that's a bundle. That's a five dollar dress shirt. I mean, whatever. Yeah, we don't. We have a bunch of this stuff in our garage, and we don't know what to do with it. All oh, right, extra extra large champion, dry fit, sleeveless. Okay. I mean, you know. It's a good size. That's a yeah. For us, our closet, we need bigger sizes. That's just a workout top or whatever. Okay. Here's an Armani Exchange T-shirt and a small. Okay, Armani Exchange and Armani are different things. If yes. You didn't know. Yeah. So Armani Exchange is their lower, lower tier, um, geared towards younger, yeah, younger men. It's I, got like a, I don't know what you would compare it to. Um, it feels to me like structure. Uh, what's the Express Men? Yeah, something kind like of. That. Right. They do have stores. I that mean, are, it is it is nice quality stuff, but it's priced so that it's more accessible. Should we address the cat in the room? Mojo, he's not dying. He's just talking. That's that's what he does. If you if you're new to our videos, <laughs> welcome. Subscribe and like if you do like our content, and if you like our cat, his name's Mojo. He might join us. Hey, buddy. All right, so we got Banana Republic Silk Cotton Cashmere Blend. Ooh. In a size medium. These do well for us. Quarter zip. That's nice. We've sold a couple of these, I think. One in a blue. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't think it's sold yet, but I have, we have one listed. It's like a blue, white striped V-neck in the same fabric blend. It's real nice. That's very nice. In the fall, I think this will do well. Yeah, and if that doesn't sell, I might keep that. Mm. That's the other thing about <laughs> these boxes. Dan likes to keep half the things sometimes. Uh, this is just a large gap, blue V-neck. What size? Large. Oh, you said that. Yep. <clears throat> Battle. So. All right, we got some ties. What we got here? Some fuzzies floating. Yeah, we got this plain silver tie from Kenneth Cole Reaction. Nothing special, but you know. We do sell ties. Well, we try. Here's a new in the plastic golf tee tie. Ooh, a novelty from tie. From handmade from Fratello. I love a good novelty. I don't tie. know anything about this <laughs> brand, but I mean, right? It's <laughs> come on. Any golfer in your life has to have this This tie. is the Father's Day tie you've been <laughs> looking for. Um, we've got an Old Mill flannel. Oh, that's nice. In a size, I don't know, because they cut the tag out. Uh, so but we'll have a, to do measurements. That's a nice, thick, like old school flannel. Okay, let's tell the people who are here to learn. We sell things without size tags all the time. All the time. We just measure it and we compare it to a standard US size chart and include that in the listing so people know what they're buying. Right. But and when I first started, I wouldn't sell anything without a size. I was so nervous. Oh my God, I'm nervous and Now sweating. we do it all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. real easy. All you gotta do is lay the garment flat, measure armpit to armpit, double it, and that's your chest measurement. That's really what people need. This is a this is a cool like kind of hipster shirt, don't you think? Yeah, like I said, it's like old. It feels like a vintage, yeah. like legit. Like you could go work Montana on the flannel or something. The farm in this. Absolutely. In our, in our urban farm, we yeah. live in the city. <laughs> we don't know anything about farming. All right. Uh, he's a large Banana Republic, quarter zip. Okay, we're getting a lot of mall brands. Yeah. There's but... some spots on here. Yeah. You guys want to say it with me? Ready. Hydrogen peroxide and, and a Q-tip. There you go. Most of the time on white items, I can get stains like this out. The hydrogen peroxide, you just rub it with a Q-tip. It lifts it right out. Gone. Not a big deal. Two bucks at the Dollar Tree. Lasts me a year. All right. We got some dark army green chino pants from ooh, Cherokee. All right. Y'all, you know, I think that's Walmart's. I think it is too. 42.30. Some... What do we do with this stuff? That's a good question because we don't have an answer. What do you guys do with this stuff? If you get things in mystery boxes or stuff that doesn't really go 
in your closet, but it's good. I mean, I mean we've, we've always talked about doing like mystery boxes and bundling cheaper stuff together. I mean, now might be a good opportunity to do that. We're going to have to think about that. I would do a not so mystery box. I wouldn't want to send somebody well, a I mean, Walmart item, right? Yeah, but I think Poshmark changed their policies about mystery boxes so that mystery boxes are actually no longer mystery. You actually have to like include a list of everything in it. What? Yeah, they, they put up a post about it on their blog or something. Somebody's keeping up to date. So we've got some Kenneth Cole reaction. Slacks, 3430, just plain black. Yeah, these slacks. are great. Oh, the hem is out on these. So these have a released hem. I mean, they're just not hemmed. Is that one hemmed? Yes. Okay, so here's the deal, people of the internet. <laughs> In order to list these, I will have to hem this. But you can do that. You got that skill. Yeah. And if you don't have so many skills, YouTube is amazing to get skills like that. And then you can list so many more things. We have a whole box of stuff I need to do alterations on. Here's a pair of IZOD shorts. Oh, my. XFG. What does that stand for? Extra. Mm. Some kind of golf. F and something. great. Yes. There you go. Extra F and great shorts <laughs> in a size 36. I mean, look at that. They are Those F and are. great. <laughs> Flat front. That's great. They are nice. Yeah. I don't know who buys Izod, but somebody. Golfers. eBay. Um, we better on eBay with that. And we got some Levi's 527 jeans in a 34-32. Perfect. These yeah. are in good condition. A little bit of wear down here, but nothing bad. Yeah. Pockets are in good shape. What about the crotch? Check out the crotch. Got to make sure we're, we're in good shape. Zipper, button. Button is there. Feeling good. Zipper works. Nice. These are a good pair of jeans. Those are good. And that's it. That, that is, is it. the box. That okay. was 10 pounds. Let's see how many things we got. All right. One. One. Two. Two. Three. You count. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. <laughs> nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and a pair of shoes, 15. 15. For $50. Not bad. Let's do the math there. Oh, do we have to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how we write down our prices, you know? Yeah, we figure out our cost per, well, not bad. $3.33. Yeah. Uh, what we will do is decide what we will sell and then figure out the cost because some right. of that stuff might go back to the Goodwill. Yeah, and if we if there's stuff that we're going to donate, we we'll take that out of the equation and then re, yeah. know, readjust so our cost. Yeah, so probably four or five bucks yeah. for each item. But Not, I think the Kenneth Cole jacket, the mm -hmm. shoes, will yeah. definitely pay. That should make up the majority of the mm -hmm. box. Yeah. And we, we do sell those basic men's sweaters in the fall a lot, yep. especially on eBay. So I think we'll, we'll do okay. I think so. I All think right. we'll at least double our money. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for hanging out with us. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to film it in just a second. Yeah, mystery box number two coming up. Bye. Bye.